What is going on, YouTube? It's Blasco's channel coming at you again with, would you believe it, another knife review. That's right. Got to get into these. It's pretty fun. This is the Cold Steel Espada Extra Large. And it's the box it came in. Just want to show you guys the box before I move on to the knife. There we go. Yeah. Okay, check this out. You see the box right here? I'm not going to spend too much. Oh, crap. Not going to spend too much time on the box. Just, just showing you the box. There it is. There's that. And that's just a box that comes in. And also, I want to show you guys uh, my last, or one of my last videos. I reviewed the uh, this one, the fancy version. This is the G10 model, the more economical one, cheaper for the economy and stuff. Good idea if you ask me on Lynn's part. You guys are genius. Just out, this is the one, the fan this is the box, the fanciest spot. It comes in that shiny one with the aluminum, 7075 aluminum handle and the uh, polished blade and all that. See, warning. Look at that. Read warning label inside box for using this knife. No, I'm just going to take it out and start just flinging it around, see what I slice in half. Hopefully, a stranger's faces, but no, don't kill. That's bad. <laughs> but there's the back stuff, and there's that. Who cares about boxes anyway? And I just want to show you guys that. You know, I want to be kind of thorough. It's a nice knife. Okay, so let's go and get this thing out and not stop wasting you guys' time, my time, YouTube's time, Internet's time, life in general. Okay, check this out. Oh yeah, it comes in. Sorry, it comes in protective seal. Whoa, look at that. Okay, check this out. This is the Espada in G10. Look at this. Now this also is a beautiful knife. My dad actually like this one. Uh, my dad actually likes this one more than the fancy version because he looks like he says this one's like the one you're not afraid of. This looks like a lot more intimidating. Like man, this is ready to be used. That other one looks like you want to keep it nice, you know, kind of fancy. This looks like man, I'm ready to do some damage and let's take on the world. Yeah, it comes in this plastic, and also, I got an extra pocket clip right here. Check that out. No, no, it's not three-dimensional. All right, let's get that out of the way. See, all right. Now, let's get on the piece de resistance. Oh, the snap. Nice. Look at this. Raise it up a little bit now. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, ready? Boom! Man, I love that triad lock. Locks up like that. Like I said, these are uh, textured G10 handles. Very grippy. Your hand ain't going anywhere when it's in this. And locks up like a fixed blade. Oh, man, does it ever. As soon as, like I said, they make the cold steel videos where they just hang from the handle area, like right here. They just hang. Oh, man, we're talking about hundreds of pounds. I think it was 800 for the fancy version. I think it was like six, five or mm -hmm. 600 for this version. Just off the handle. Yeah, just keep it like that, Dad. It's not that complicated. There you go. Okay, and uh, see, there's the lock right there. And man, it, uh, the weight uh, that this thing, that this triad lock can hold, is unbelievable. Just type in, like I said, uh, cold steel, uh, you know, up in the box, up there, and you'll be amazed at the videos that pop up. They just show this knife, the fancy one, uh, the Raja, all the cold steel's knives, and just the way that triad lock is, it's unbelievable. But anyway, back to the spot. Huh? This is a uh, four millimeter thick blade. Seven and a half inches long. Check that out. What's that finish on this? Bead blasted, Daddy O. Thank you so much for that. You know, I almost forgot about the finish. You know, I'm not being sarcastic. I really appreciate your input. Sure. Check that out. Can you, you see that right there? See that? I'm trying to get it good in the camera. Oh, there we go. There's a nice shot. Look at that cold oh, nice steel. Size pocket oh, heck yeah. It's the same size as the other one, yeah. These are definitely, I got some big pockets. But then, when you're getting, then again, when you're carrying a seven and a half inch blade, you're going to need some serious clip action. Keep that in your pockets. Yeah. You know? That's why other things I pack that are seven and a half inches, you know, I have pre action maybe even a little more. I need even bigger pocket clips for those babies. But that's another video we're going to discuss. That's that another stuff. dream that Tim's going to talk about. Oh, no, no. That's another video. We'll have to upload that to a, uh, a little a site with a little bit more lenient policy on their uh, rating levels when we start talking about those things. But anyway, this is a uh, thumb plate. And also, it activates as a wave feature. And if you saw my uh, review of the uh, spot of the fancy version with the aluminum handles, you'll know that, you'll know that that wave feature acts when you go to yank it out of your when it's totally like in your pants right here. Like so you know, and it rides up. It's about that much sticks out in your pants. You know, so I mean, for a blade of this size, for only having that much stick, I mean, that's pretty stinging good. I mean, you barely you know even you have it. And when you start pulling it up, you're like, wait, you know, like if this was your pocket right here on the side of the camera, you start pulling it. Okay, look at this. I'm pulling. Whoa. Okay, wow, that's big. Holy crap, that's getting bigger. This is coming out of your pants. Holy crap, holy, it's still going. So look at this. Holy no, holy crap, does it ever end? Oh, but it does. It does, but holy crap. Look at the size. Why would anyone pack this except to do nothing but destroy everything? <laughs> but Man. anyway, but then you like I said, you snag that on your pocket coming you out. Get him back to Bellevue, buddy. Yeah, no, 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 no. That place didn't help me out, as you can tell. 
But no, you, like I said, that snags in your pocket, it opens, boom, super fast, and then not only is it this long up to this point, then it keeps going, and they're like, no, it can't be, it's still going, it's still going, oh, no, there's the point, oh, where's the point going, right in your face, no, no, I'm not saying, no, I'm not, I don't condone violence, no, this would go, like, right into, you know, like I said, opening a box, or, a yeah, a steak, or a, uh, like I said in the last video, like a steam ship freighter, in fact, I think I said exactly that, which shows how many great analogies I have, but hey, I'm not getting paid to, you know, actually, I'm not getting paid for anything, but, you know, I just like doing this for fun. Yeah. But anyway, check that out. You got a, um, that's a, uh, plain edge finish. I mean, not plain edge finish. I'm talking about finishes. Plain edge, uh, blade on there. So, like I said, no serrations, but you don't need serrations. I mean, cold steel. There's, sharp. I mean, there's serrations, they're plain edge. I mean, they're unbelievable. I mean, this is like a razor. Right out of the box, too. I mean, I don't I've never had to sharpen a cold steel knife. I mean, like I said, I don't use them on a day-to-day -day basis, like doing very hard stuff. I like to keep my knives as nice. But I just use it for, you know, like boxes, string, just little simple things. I don't go out in, like, in the wilderness and, you know, hunting and all that. I might try it one day, but, you know, I'd use probably a cheaper knife. I don't feel like buy expensive knives for, you know, hunting purposes because they, you know, are strong and tolerable. But I'd buy a cheaper knife for that. Anyway, oh, yeah, look at the point on that. See, can you guys see that? Look at well, that. you get the point on that. Oh, heck, yeah. I think with this knife, you're going to get the point, whether you like it or not. Check that out. There's that. Well, let me see. Let me get. I think that's pretty much all I want to say about this thing. Oh, oh you got a grip. Oh, you got different grips. Like I said, you can grip it down there, but that, that's it. You want to like lock it. Oh no. man! Oh, we were doing so stinking good. That's okay. Oh man. All right. Okay. But anyway, check this out. You got different grips. You can grip it in like that. And you know, like I said, that that's the best. I call it the shotgun grip because, like I said, you grip it like that, and then you got all that blade right there. Yeah. Nice yep. And you can, of course, you can grip it in up like that, like choke up on it. You can even two hand this sucker. I mean, look at this. You two, I know it's hard to get in there, but look at that. Man, I mean, holy crap. Look at that, baby. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. Still love this knife. And, um, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Grips. Uh, I think I covered that. I covered what the handle's made out of. G10. B blasted finish. Oh, yeah. AUS88. Yeah, AUS. I already said that. Oh. AUS88 steel on the blade. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a good... I don't know too much about steels and the quality and what all that nonsense is about or anything. But, but anyway, so uh, that's basically all I want to do. Just my review on the uh, Aspada G10 XL version. And check that out. Yeah, one last look. There you go. There we go. There it is closed. You guys see that one last shot of it? Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I got this. Magnified last go. Okay, so there's the Espada right there. G10 version. There's, uh, the, oh, wait, hey, let me get the box. There we go. Got that. Stick it like that. And, yeah, okay, that's my review of the uh, Spotted G10. The kid's got to watch guys. his mouth when he talks to his dad, though, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, but for some reason, I don't get the same kind of mutual respect. I always yeah, try to I watch. I get, no, no, I always try to give this guy compliments, and what does he give me in return? Nothing but insults and a terrible look into my future, because no matter what we do, we're going to turn into our parents. And this guy over here, this is who I'm going to turn into. So, world, watch out. Even after this guy's gone, you still got me. Ah! Well, anyway, okay, so that's all I basically uh, I wanted to talk about. And, of course, my co-commentator over here, Daddy-O, you. say, say your little goodbyes. Okay, I'll see you next time, peeps. Alrighty, like I said, take care, you guys.